writing, uh, Cahirlock, is that last evening, or yesterday afternoon, and thank you to, to your good self, I, I had the opportunity of raising the, uh, the HPV Gardasil vaccination program with the Minister for Health, Varadkar. Uh, later in the evening, he took a similar motion from uh, colleagues in the other house, my own colleague, uh, Deputy Moynihan, and Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan. And I have to put on record that I am surprised is probably uh, 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 sort of a, a mild word that I can use at the, the Minister's attitude and response both to my uh, motion and to that in the other house. I'm not talking about necessarily the content of what he said, but the dismissive manner the dismissive manner in which he, as an elected minister of this government, uh, treated me and treated my colleagues in the other house in relation to this issue. I found it very unacceptable and have to say that I was very surprised, considering that I felt that I had, at least on a human level, if not on a political level, a good working relationship with the minister. He was absolutely hostile and, in fact, was resenting the fact that he, that I and the others in the other house were raising this very important issue, which I know Senator Healy Eames has also raised. And I'm saying here now, this issue will not go away because it's gathering force. And I had a, a, an astonishing response uh, to the debate uh, yesterday uh, from uh, the parents of unfortunate girls who have suffered as a result of this vaccination. And I'd like to ask a question of the leader that he might, because I'm going to be doing it myself. But my understanding is from a parent that when the initial vaccination program was rolled out, that there were three stages of vaccinations. But that in the last 12 months, the HSE have reduced this now to two. Because it seems that a number of girls that have suffered the side effects have suffered them as a result of the third round of vaccinations. So I'd like to, uh, and maybe you might inquire, because I intend doing it myself. Also, in the context of what I've said, um, the, the, the clear implication is that this minister has set his face against any form of investigation of the linkage between the vaccination and the unfortunate, uh, un not even unfortunate, but the tragic uh, trauma, physical and emotional and mental, that has been suffered by girls within days of getting this vaccination. Not within weeks or anything, but within days. And he refuses point blank, as does the HSE, to accept that there is any causal link whatsoever. So I'm just, ask, I'm just putting it down on record. My colleague, uh, the leader of the Fianna Fáil group, Senator O'Brien, has been instrumental in bringing this to the fore initially because it's affected people in his constituency. I have them in mine. Senator Healy Eames has them in hers. And I'm putting on notice now that while I had the commencement motion yesterday, that I will be discussing with my, with my colleagues the question of putting a full motion before the House so that I can draw out every side of this House on this issue. And it is not going to go away. Senator Brennan, don't ask him. Also in relation to the links between certain vaccines uh, and significant side effects uh, which grew also and his comments on the, on, on the Minister, I'm not going to get into any uh, personal remarks that may have happened between Senator Mooney and the Minister, uh, but he did have a commencement um, motion and I'm sure he got a, 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 a good reply and I, I note his points and uh, his belief that this is a matter that won't go away uh, and the problem obviously exists there's no question about that uh, that, uh, that, that uh, young girls in particular have, have um, uh, side effects um, whether it's as a result of the vaccines or not uh, I can't say def definitively but there is a case uh, that should be examined there's no, there's no question in my mind uh, on that uh, Senator Brennan. 